Okay, so in this video, we are taking a look back at the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. This is the small one or the new regular one here after using this bad boy for about six months. We're gonna talk about what you should expect and we're gonna talk about what you should watch out for. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, let's go ahead and start with the outside. Cosmetically, the tablet is solid. It's looking great. I always say this, I take pretty good care of my tablets and so do my kids. Every now and then my daughter picks up this guy here because it's small, it's light, you know, she could run around with it and she uses it. It's never been dropped, so it's been holding up pretty well cosmetically. So to those of you who are constantly on the go, this is a nice pickup and this is something that you shouldn't really expect that it would break immediately if you were to drop it, at least based off of the feel of it, right? It feels like a solid build and it's holding up pretty well. Now that said, if you are worried about your tablet, I would say go ahead and pick up a case so that you can protect it even more. So that's as far as it's been holding up physically. Let's go ahead and do a quick round here for those of you who are not very familiar with what this tablet has to offer. This is not a full review by any means. Anyways, so you have a USB Type-C 2.0 here, meaning that you will not be able to extend the display. Whatever you're watching here, you can't push that out to another you know, monitor, but that was not expected. That should not be expected because after all, this is a budget tablet. It's a good tablet for those of you who are on the go or people who are just looking for something that is light or even people who are looking for a tablet that they can use as a secondary phone. I know some people tend to do that. You know, They'll pick up the 4G version of this and just stick a SIM card in it or add a data plan in there and use that as a secondary form. Personally, I have not used it that way, but I digress. We have a headphone jack here, so if you wanna go ahead and stick in your headphones or even a mic, you can still do that. We have a dual setup for the speakers, and that's good placement, right? If you were to, you know, let's say you're playing a game or you're even watching a movie and you're holding your tablet this way, at least you're not covering the audio coming out of the speakers there. So that's that. And of course you do have your power button, volume rocker and mics around here. And that's pretty much it. On the back here, you do have a camera. It's an eight megapixel camera that can shoot up to 1080p. Now it's good for scanning documents and things like that. It's not a camera that you use to take pictures that you're gonna be posting on Instagram as your, I don't know, headshot type of thing, right? But it works for what it's supposed to be working for. You can definitely make videos, take pictures and things like that, but quality will not compare to what you have on your flagship phone there. On the front, you have a two megapixel camera. The quality here is not the best, but it works. If you wanna go ahead and make you know video calls, it would work no issues there. Now, as far as user experience goes with everything that I just listed there, it's a budget tablet, I didn't expect much. So I'll say six months later, you should not expect any of that stuff to be broken. Let's go ahead and talk about the next thing that people like to hear about when it comes down to long-term review of devices, the battery. Battery here is a 5,100 milliamp, right? It's a small tablet. And of course the battery going in there is also going to be relatively small. It's decent size for this tablet size. Also, this is by the way, a 8.7 inches display. So given the size of the tablet, battery has been pretty decent. You can finish the day depending on how you use your tablet. So far, I haven't seen battery decrease. You know, battery life seems to be about the same as it was when I first bought the tablet here. And of course, this is gonna be subjective. It's gonna depend on how you use your tablet. Keep in mind, again, that the battery or oh, this tablet is not made for you to use starting at 6 a.m. in the morning all the way to 6 p.m. This is for people who are on the go. This is for you to be able to check a few things on the go or if you're on the metro or on the train, you wanna watch a movie, things like that, or if you wanna, I don't know, quick video calls and things like that. This is for you to really just check on things, it's not a tablet for heavy use. Of course, if you do heavy use, if you're a power user and you apply that here, battery will reflect that type of use. You might need to walk around with a battery pack or a charger that you have in handy. So as far as battery goes, I don't see much of a difference between today and six months ago when I bought this tablet. And that's a good thing. That means the battery is good quality and it's not experiencing any drainage. Now let's go ahead and talk performance. It is loaded with a MediaTek Helio G99. I said, I believe it's the G99. I would have to look that up, but I believe it's G99. Either way, just keep in mind that it's a budget processor, right? It's a budget chipset, right? And again, it is expected. I believe I paid 130 or 140 bucks for this guy here. I don't expect to have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or Gen 3 in here. So processing power is pretty decent, especially for a budget. I'm actually gonna say it's pretty good for an Android, for a 
an Android budget tablet and it has remained the same. If you go heavy, oh, for sure, you will experience lagging and you know stuttering and even crashes. But if you use it for, let's say, if you keep it at moderate to light use, you will be just fine. Right now, it performs, I would even say a little bit better, you know, with the updates, a little bit better than it did at the beginning. So I would say it's a better tablet today compared to six months ago. And it's kind of counterintuitive, right? You might be thinking it would get worse over time, but it actually got better, you know, with the updates. But anyways, so as far as performance goes, you should not be worried if you've been using this or if you were wondering what it would be like after six months, it's still good. Now let's go ahead and talk user experience with media consumption. Watching movie has been really good here. I did mention this in the review. You can watch Netflix here at 1080p, that's pretty good, you know, that's high definition. You can watch, enjoy movies here. You know, picture quality is actually pretty good, you know, for something like this. It's just too bad Samsung won't make a top level, small form factor tablet that can compete against the iPad mini. I know I always bring that up, but anyway, so, Consumption, you know, media consumption is pretty good here. Watching movies, watching videos, YouTube and things like YouTube and things like that. No complaints. I have zero complaint. Playing games, you could definitely play, you know, light games, medium games, heavy games. There are heavy games that you won't be able to play, you know, with high settings. You might be able to play with low settings, but sometimes it's not even worth it. Otherwise, most games though, you will be able to play here without any issues. Now, remember I said not too long ago that this is not another review of the Galaxy Tab A9 here. This is more of a quick update. Just wanted to let you know that the tablet is doing well. You know, I'm using it and the kids are using it and still it's holding up pretty well. I also mentioned just physically, it's still looking very, very good. And it's a solid tablet. When I say solid, I truly mean when you hold it in hand and it's also thick, right? You hold it in hand, it has these sharp corners. You can feel the build quality is good, even though it's a budget tablet, right? So cosmetically or physically, it's holding up pretty well. As far as the internal goes, it's holding well there also, meaning performance has gotten better. Battery is still good there, no battery drainage. That is good to go. Overall user experience, I would say has gotten a little bit better compared to at the beginning there. So if you were to pick this up, that's what you should expect after using this for six months. I actually still recommend this guy here. To those of you who are on the go and who are looking to buy something, you know, that is light, that they can quickly drop in their backpack or even in their pocket. You know, I know some people who are in the medical field, maybe nurses and things like that, they can put this in the pocket of their scrub and it would actually fit. It's a relatively small tablet. You have 8.7 inches there. The display is pretty nice for something at this price point, 140 bucks. Anyways, let me know if you have any additional questions. I'm pretty sure there are things that I didn't maybe cover here. Let me know what those things are in the comment section. I'll do my best to get to those questions. Let me know what any comments, you know, you may have the general comments you may have about this tablet, whether you own one, how you like it, whether you like it or you don't. Let me know all of that in the comment section. I'm certainly hoping that this was informative and that this helps the purchasing decision of many of you out there who are currently considering this. I will catch you in the comment section, like I said. Also, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I truly appreciate that. So I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Up until the next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.